George Hotz. This video compresses information gathered from Wikipedia in video format. Studies prove that reading while listening improves comprehension, increases speed as well as expands vocabulary and enhances fluency. Video sections, abstract, education, security research, career, other activities and recognition, personal life, external links. Give your feedback on the comments section. Support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thanks. Abstract. George Francis Hotz, born October 2, 1989, alias Geo Hot, is an American security hacker. He is known for developing iOS jailbreaks, reverse engineering the PlayStation 3, and for the subsequent lawsuit against Sony. Since September 2015, he is working on his vehicle automation machine learning company Comma.ai. Education He attended the Bergen County Academies, a magnet public high school in Hackensack, New Jersey. He attended Academy for Engineering and Design Technology. Hotz is an alumnus of the Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth Program. Monsieur Hotz also briefly attended Rochester Institute of Technology and Carnegie Mellon University. Security Research In August 2007, 17-year-old George Hotz became the first person reported to remove the SIM lock on an iPhone. He traded his second unlocked 8GB iPhone to Terry Dadone, the founder of Certicel, for a Nissan 350Z and three 8GB iPhones. In October 2009, Hutz released BlackRail 1N. It was compatible with all iPhone and iPod Touch devices running iOS 3.1.2. On July 13, 2010, Hutz announced the discontinuation of his jailbreaking activities, citing demotivation over the technology and the unwanted personal attention. Nevertheless, he continued to release new software-based jailbreak techniques until October 2010. In December 2009, Hotz announced his initial intentions to breach security on the PlayStation 3. On January 22, 2010, he announced that he had performed his first achievement consisting of read and write access to the machine system memory as well as hypervisor-level access to the machine CPU. On January 26, 2010, Hutz released the exploit to the public. On March 28, 2010, Sony responded by announcing their intention to release a PlayStation 3 firmware update that would remove the other OS feature from all models, a feature that was already absent on the newer slim revisions of the machine. On July 13, 2010, Hotz posted a message on his Twitter account stating that he had abandoned his efforts. On December 29, 2010, hacking group Failsir Overflow did a presentation at the 27th Chaos Communications Congress where they exposed a mistake of Sony in their usage of ECDSA signatures without publishing the corresponding private key. This key was used by Sony to prevent piracy. On January 2, 2011, Hotz posted a copy of the private key of the PlayStation 3 on his website. These keys were later removed from his website as a result of legal action by Sony against Fails Ear Overflow and Hotz. In response to his continued publication of PS3 exploit information, Sony filed on January 11, 2011 for an application for a temporary restraining order, TRO against him in the U.S. District Court of Northern California. Hotz published his commentary on the case, including a song about the disaster of Sony. Sony in turn has demanded social media sites, including YouTube, to hand over IP addresses of people who visited Geo Hotz's social pages and videos. The latter being the case only for those who watched the video and documents reproducing all record or usernames and IP addresses that have posted or published comments in response to video. PayPal has granted Sony access to GeoHot's PayPal account, and the judge of the case granted Sony permission to view the IP addresses of everyone who visited 
Jehot Commissier in April 2011. It was revealed that Sony and Hotz had settled the lawsuit out of court on the condition that Hotz would never again resume any hacking work on Sony products. In June 2014, Hotz published a root exploit software hack for Samsung Galaxy S5 devices used in the U.S. market. The exploit is built around the CV20143153 vulnerability, which was discovered by hacker Pinkie Pie, and it involves an issue in the Futex subsystem that in turn allows for privilege escalation. The exploit, known as Towel Root, was designated as a one-click Android routing tool. Although originally released for the Verizon Galaxy S5, the root exploit was made compatible with most Android devices available at that time. For example, it was tested and found to work with the AT&T Galaxy S5, Nexus 5, and Galaxy S4 Active. Updates continue to be applied to the root exploit to increase its capabilities with other devices. Running Android Updates to the Android operating system close the source of the exploit. Samsung officially responded to the towel root exploit by releasing updated software designed to be immune from the exploit. Career Hotz made a meaningful side income from public donations solicited for his security exploits. Hotz worked at Facebook between May 2011 and January 2012. On July 16, 2014, Google hired Hotz to work with the Project Zero team where he developed Kira for dynamically analyzing application binaries. Hotz was employed at the startup Vicarious from January until July 2015. Hotz founded his AI startup, Comma.ai, in September 2015. In an interview with Bloomberg, Hutz revealed that the company was building vehicular automation technology based on artificial intelligence algorithms. Hotz built a working self-driving 2016 Acura ILX, which he demonstrated on the i280 in a video, resulting in a cease and desist letter from the California Department of Motor Vehicles. Hotz wanted to sell his technology to Tesla Motors. Meeting with CEO Elon Musk, Hotz claims that Musk offered him $12 million to create a driving system that could replace the mobile eye solution that Tesla used at the time. Tesla later released a statement on their website citing corrections to the Bloomberg article, stressing that their autopilot system was developed in-house, with a vision chip component from mobile eye instead of one separate autopilot system manufactured by Mobile I. As suggested by Bloomberg reporter Ashley Vance, Musk offered advice on HOTS' self-driving car project in a December 2015 interview. On October 27, 2016, the NHTSA informed HOTS that the product was legally required to comply with federal motor vehicle safety standards and requested information that would confirm such compliance. A day later, George Hotz tweeted from Shenzhen that the Comma 1 was cancelled. Kristen Lee stated on Jalopnik that the NHTSA was simply trying to open a dialogue, and commented, instead, they got the worst attitude possible from Silicon Valley. Try and regulate us, thought leaders, and well take our ball and go home. Comma.ai open sourced their self driving car software, called Open Pilot, on November 30, 2016, emphasizing its intended use for research without a warranty. On September 14, 2018, Comma.ai announced Tots would become the head of research team for the project and appointed Ricardo Biasini as the new CEO of the company. He left in March 2019 but returned in May 2019 to become president once again. On January 7, 2020, Comma.ai debuted its $999,2 Comma to ADIS driver assist device at the annual Say Tech Show in Las Vegas. Other activities and recognition. Hotz was a finalist at the 2004 ISEF competition in Portland, Oregon with his project The Mapping Robot. Recognition included interviews on The Today Show and Larry King. Hotz was a finalist at the 2005 ISEF competition, 
with his project The Googler. Hotz competed in the 2007 Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, a science competition for high school students, where his 3D imaging project, entitled I Want a Holodeck, received awards and prizes in several categories including a $20,000 Intel scholarship. He traveled to Sweden to speak about the project of the Stockholm International Youth Science Seminar. In March 2008, PC World listed Hotz as one of the top 10 overachievers under 21. In August 2013, Hotz attended DEF CON with Carnegie Mellon's Plaid Parliament of Owning. PP. PP placed first in the DEF CON Capture the Flag. CTF. Tournament. Later in 2013. Hotz also competed in CSAW 2013. Working alone, Hotz took first place under the pseudonym TOMCRO O'Shea. In August 2014, Hotz once again competed as part of Carnegie Mellon's Plaid Parliament of Owning to win the DEF CON CTF tournament for a second year in a row. The team also won the DEF CON Crack Me If You Can tournament. Personal Life in 2012 Hotz was arrested in Texas for possession of marijuana. The charges were later dropped.